As we've been predicting over the last week or so, uh, Black Adam 2 is officially canceled. But it didn't come from James Gunn. It didn't come from Warner Brothers. It didn't come from DC. It actually came from The Rock himself. We're going to go over the statement and kind of read between the lines and see if there's any future for Black Adam in the new DCU. Welcome to the Chaos Multiverse, everybody. Chaos here. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you have those notifications on. We've been saying for over a week that Black Adam 2 will be shelved. And, and now that has officially happened for multiple reasons. One, because Black Adam didn't really change the hierarchy of the DC. Two, because it looks like it wasn't a financial success like they were hoping, but that's all in the numbers, if you know what I mean. And of course, the big one, James Gunn and Peter Safran have taken over and they are going in a new direction. And that direction has zero to do with Black Adam, and I'm pretty sure it has zero to do with Shazam as well. I think they're going to focus more on the anchors. They're going to focus more on the Batman and the Superman and the Wonder Woman and things like that. So, The Rock went on Instagram and made a post. Now, I want to say before I read this that I, I watched Black Adam again last night on HBO Max. I watched it in the theaters, and I wasn't super impressed. There was a lot of points in it that just didn't make sense. There was some, like, what are they doing where he's giving the big... Uh, Raw raw speech, but he's doing it in like whisper mode. He was like whisper yelling the kid. Weird stuff that didn't really make sense. And then you try to uh, shove all the backstories of the Justice Society in there, Doctor Fate and Hawkman and all of that. It was a fun watch. It was cool, but it wasn't anything game breaking, changing the hierarchy or anything like that. And that's just how it is. And a lot of people say, "Oh, The Rock is done. He won't be able to do anything." Guys, this is just one small piece of the pie when it comes to him is Terramana Tequila, his other movies, his production studios. He has so much else going on other than this Black Adam movie. Trust me, he'll be fine. And I also made a prediction that him and Henry Cavill will probably head over. No, actually, I said Henry Cavill would head over the MCU. I said I didn't know about Black Adam or The Rock, but who knows? Maybe he ends up in the MCU. What character should he play? So he says... My passionate friends, I wanted to give you a long-awaited Black Adam update regarding the character's future in the new DC Universe. James Gunn and I connected, and Black Adam will not be in their first chapter of storytelling. However, DC and Seven Bucks have agreed to continue exploring the most valuable ways Black Adam could be utilized in future DC multiverse chapters. James and I have known each other for years and have always rooted for each other to see, succeed, and it's no different now. I will always root for DC and Marvel to win and win big. <laughs> there you go. He puts, and Marvel in parentheses. I'm telling you right now, he's going to end up in the MCU. You guys know me, I have a very thick skin, and you can always count on me to be direct with my words. Then he goes on to say, these decisions made by James and DC leadership represent their vision of DCU through their creative lens. After 15 years of relentless hard work to finally make Black Adam, I'm very proud of the film we delivered for fans worldwide. I will always look back on the fan reaction of Black Adam with tremendous gratitude, humility, and love. We did great. To my very impassionate vocal Black Adam superhero genre fans, I love you, thank you, and I will always listen to you and do my best to deliver and entertain you. What a hell of a month. Now we all need some Terramana. Plug in his tequila. Have a productive week and happy holidays to you and your families, DJ. So, I will say, I'm glad he did Black Adam. I'm glad we got to see it on the big screen. I'm glad we got to uh, enjoy that. But in the bigger sense of things, it's not a priority, and it's not going to be a building block for what the new DCU is. Now, he does say in there that they'll stay connected and try to find a vision. It's not in the first wave of what's happening, but if you read between the lines, that pretty much means it's not happening. So let me know what you guys think. I mean, we kind of saw this one coming. We see a lot of others coming as well. I told you guys I'm personally excited for this reboot. I think it's what had to happen. Let me know, and I'll see you soon.